video analysis using TensorFlow. So I have got two videos. So in one video you will see that I, you will be able to see a uh, video shortly. Okay, in this video you see that you can see my face and uh, I am clearly visible in this video. Whereas in the second one, I am not visible. So these are two different videos. The name of the first video is I am present dot WMV and the name of the second video is I am absent dot WMV. So I'm, I will try to train TensorFlow so that it can clearly differentiate whether I am present or I am absent in the video. Okay, so I have put the two videos in my Linux machine. Before starting, let's see what is my configuration. I am using Oracle VirtualBox. I am using a Windows PC where I am making the test data, which is a video in this case. And then I am using a shared, shared folder to copy that video from Windows to VirtualBox and into Ubuntu 16.04 machine. Next, I am also using TensorFlow, NumPy, and Python OpenCV, which is installed on Linux Ubuntu. Next, I have got Docker installed on my Linux Ubuntu, uh, and I use it to do the transfer learning of the inception model. Next, I also would ask you to install the TensorFlow into your Linux Ubuntu machine and also install Docker, okay? Now let's go and start with the Docker, which will download the latest TensorFlow image Okay. Okay. So this is we are inside the Docker image right now. As you can see that I have mentioned slash retrainer as my folder, which is a shared folder. The folder contains the directories vid test vid model and video check and in the video check i have got two directories one is called a and another is going to p so a is the absent and p is for the present so in in the a directory I have got some frames which does not contain my image. As you can see that I am not here in this image whereas In the directory p all the frames contain my image for example let me take this one okay you can see that my image is there i have created this absent and present directory by using a simple open cv program For example, a very small program which imports CV2 and it uses NumPy. So here I am capturing the video from uh, one of the video files, and then I am just running through, running a loop, 
and capturing the image one by one and writing it into an output directory. By this we can create any training data for the TensorFlow. Now let us run the TensorFlow and create the model. So I will submit it. As you can see that after training is done and transfer learning is complete, the model will be placed in retrainer slash bid model and the labels will be also kept in retrainer slash bid model. My sample images for training are present in retrainer slash video check. This contains two directories, in we, one which contains the images where I am not present and in the second one it contains images where I am present. So let's run it. Downloading takes a little bit of time if it depends on your internet connection. So you can see here we are taking each frame and generating data to create the model. Okay, now it is still continuing. Now it is running the steps to reduce the cross entropy. As you can see the cross entropy is reducing. As you can see the training is over and the final test accuracy is 100% and two variables have been converted in and incorporated into the model. The final cross entropy was 0 0.001617 and total 500 iterations have been done to achieve this. Now after it is complete the the models have been stored outside the docker
can see that here the model and the levels have been copied. It's done right now. Next, we will try to predict. I've got a sample program where I am trying to examine one of the videos where I'm absent and I'm using OpenCV to read each and every frame and then input it into the TensorFlow. So I'm using a very rough way. I'm just directly writing it into a JPEG file and then copying it again into the TensorFlow. In the subsequent videos, I will find a better way to do it. Currently, I am trying to just run a POC or proof of concept to just demonstrate you that video processing can be done using TensorFlow. So the model and the levels have been mentioned in the TensorFlow. And the session have been defined in this way and for each frame the tensorflow will run and it will do its prediction and then the session will close and the next frame will be examined so it will keep on examining frame by frame let's run it As you can see, my video was iAbsent.wmv and you see the A is showing 99% accuracy. That means it is detecting that I am absent. It is, ab I'm, it is detecting I am absent in all the frames. So you can see that it is detecting one by one, but as you can see that processing is very slow we need to find a better way to do this video processing I'll show you that it is consuming a lot of resources and there must be a lot of wait time So this is uh, okay. The computer is not running properly because of high CPU usage. I will stop it. Okay. So I stopped it. So let's see, it has been able to identify that I am absent in the video. So A is the class for the absent and P is for the present. As you can see that I was, I was actually analyzing the video where I am absent and it has been able to correctly classify it. This data can easily be channeled into uh, some kind of dashboard where you can display that a person is present in the video or not. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and comment. Also let me know if, if there are any other uh, topics on which you would like me to run TensorFlow and demonstrate uh, in the subsequent videos. I will try my best to do it. And actually I'm planning to do around 100 use cases. So let me know if you have some new ideas. 
I will definitely try to do them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.